Okay, we're going to do a little demonstration here of making a cloud in a bottle. Make sure you go back and you review your ideas of high pressure and low pressure. The idea that high pressure is air that's descending. As it descends, relatively cool as it's coming down, but as it descends, it compresses and warms up, can hold more water vapor. As it warms up, and air that contains more water vapor is less dense, it's lighter than dry air, it'll begin to rise, okay, the concepts of density and, and convection. As that relatively warm, moist air rises and expands, that expansion is going to cause it to cool off. As it cools off, the relative humidity is going to go up to 100%. and it hits the dew point, you'll get a cloud. Now, to do this little uh, procedure, you need a clear two liter bottle, and you want to make sure it's clear. Don't use a green one. You won't be able to see what's going on. And some water. And I like to use the wooden kitchen matches, okay? You need some source of smoke, uh, whatever source you would use, but, but matches are a pretty good source. Okay, first thing you do is you take your bottle, make sure it's got a good tight fitting lid, and pour just a little bit of water in here. You don't need a whole lot. We're only going to put it in until it fills up the little dimples down at the bottom. Okay, about like that. You really don't need much more than that. You don't want to put too much water in. Now, go ahead and put the lid tightly on the bottle. And to simulate high pressure, relatively cool air descending and warming, we're going to put some pressure on the air in this bottle by squeezing it. And so as we squeeze the bottle, pressure is going up, the air is warming up. If we swirl it just a little bit, we can get some more water molecules hopping out of there. And get those water molecules evaporating. Now, to simulate low pressure, what we're going to do is we're going to let go of this bottle real quick. It's going to snap open. The pressure is going to drop. The temperature is going to drop. Hopefully we'll get down to the dew point and we'll get a cloud. Let's see what happens. Okay, here we go and... Uh, well, I don't see anything in there, do you? No, it didn't happen. It's because we forgot something very important. Water does not just condense for the heck of it. It's got to have something to stick to. It's got to have something in the air for it to condense onto. And we call these small particles in the air, particles of dust, smoke, pollen, variety of small things in the air, condensation nuclei, points where condensation can happen. That's where the matches come in. Now we're going to open our bottle up, and now instead of matches, we're going to call these things condensation nuclei generators. We're going to make some smoke. The trick is to get the smoke in the bottle, get as much in there as you can. Uh, this can be kind of uh, kind of awkward, but we get it in here. Okay. Oh, that looks good. Make sure that your bottle is nice. Yeah. Okay. So now I don't know if you can see it very well, but the bottle is a little bit smoky. There's smoke in here. Okay. And that's going to act as condensation nuclei for our cloud. So now we're going to increase the pressure, and by increasing the pressure, we're going to in, get the humidity up in there, we're going to get water molecules evaporating. The smoke does not make the water molecules evaporate. The smoke's not changing the temperature. The smoke is just there to provide particles for the water to condense on. Okay. Now notice when I kind of shake this up, I'm just kind of gently swirling it. Okay? You don't want to do big swirls because then you're basically washing the smoke out and that's not what you want. Okay, well it doesn't take long. Let's see if we get a cloud in our bottle this time. So now we're going to release the pressure. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, yeah, we got one that time. If we increase the pressure, cloud will go away. If we release the pressure, the cloud comes back. So high pressure High pressure is associated with clear, sunny days. Low pressure with cloudy days. And now I can take the lid off here. We'll actually make our cloud come out. See, that's not the smoke that went in. That's the cloud 
coming out. I can make little cloud rigs. That's our little demonstration of how to make a cloud in a bottle.